What if I told you that one of India's biggest and most trusted financial institutions, which manages nearly 6 lakh crore rupees in assets, does not run on proprietary tech, but it runs on open source code? Yep, we're talking about Zeroda, the brokerage trusted by over 2 crore Indians and handles 15% of daily retail trading. And it's built entirely on FOSS or free and open source software. So it's not a marketing gimmick really, it's their own philosophy. So Nitin Kamath, the CEO posted, Suffice to say, without FOSS, there would be no Zerodha. So their entire tech stack, trading systems, analytics engines, databases, all runs on open source infrastructure. And they're not simply users of open source tech, they also contribute to FOSS as much. Zerodha set up a $1 million annual fund to support critical open source projects worldwide. And it's engineered by the CTO Kailash Nath. And this fund supports the very tool the business runs on. We built a commercially successful business on FOSS. Now we're giving back in code, time, and money, says their CTO. From ERP Next to developer frameworks now used by universities and governments, they've open source critical in-house tools. But while companies like Zerodha lead by an example, there's a glaring gap that no one wants to talk about. Look, India has over 100 unicorns, most built using open source tools. But how many of them contribute back? So Kailash says most unicorns treat engineering as a cost center, where business leaders dominate and engineers stay invisible. So few exceptions do exist, right? Like Misho, Cred and ThoughtWorks. But for most, contribution is just accidental. It's not a cultural thing. Even Sarvam AI, selected under the India AI mission to build one of the country's foundational models, it was celebrated as a national milestone, yes, but also it was questioned for its lack of clarity and transparency on open source commitments. We covered it first here on front page, so do make sure to check it out. But why does open source matter at this point? Because open source is now at the front line of AI innovation. Meta recently announced a new variant of their open source model, the Llama 4, and OpenAI plans to release a new open weight model. Developers across India are self-hosting models like DeepSeek. And remember, we also have DeepSeek R2 coming out soon. And India just became the number two contributor on GitHub Globally. So this is beyond just free software, right? It's also about control, transparency and trust. Look, end of the day, Zerodha is a great example of how the future of tech should be driven by open source. I mean, just think about it. 6 lakh crore rupees of assets managed without a single closed source license. Look, their success just proves that open source isn't just for hobbyists. And if India wants to lead the AI era, this might be the only sustainable path forward. So for more such stories just like this, Follow and subscribe to AIM TV because think AI, think AIM.